And then I was just like, wow. Hey, oh, hey, Spence. Guess what? How many dead strippers does it take to change a light? None, because my basement is still dark. <laughs> what, that's not funny? Okay, well, skip the intro. Day two, we'll head to the library to meet with Spence, inspecting his homework. You'll sit by him prior to heading to lunch since class was canceled. I guess all that Taco Bell must have gotten to that amicus. Meeting Hal, the owner of the cafe, will take your order. Spence will explain Hal's business and its money and circumstance. You'll emphasize the idea of hosting an event using the school's tennis team to bring more awareness to the cafe. Helping Marie, prior to heading towards the courts, Coach will inform the team on Friday's matches before training with Spence to better up your swings. See this? This is called my racket. And this is my boy. All right, I got the first serve. Cool. Let's try that again, shall we? Ah, great shot. Yeah. Wow. Oh crap, here it comes. Ah. Here, have some of these nuts. Oh, that almost bit me. Yeah. But you don't have all the chaos in me. Oh snap. No. It was the win. What? Arriving to class, both you and Spence will turn in your paperwork to coach. He'll dismiss you and Spence from today's lessons for passing the subject. Leaving the room, you'll check out the art performing classes that are needed for your degree. Nosing around one of the doors, peeking past the little window to see Spencer dancing among the others before suddenly locking eyes with you. Uh, howdy, Trex. Uh, how long have you been standing there? Friday arrives as the team meets up to carpool for the competition. It's also important that we win our matches to help our Saturday event. The match requires doubles with Spence against your rivals. But finishing with a flawless victory over communication... I must say, you two worked together spontaneously out there. It was like there was something more between you Arish, two. That's gay! After the end of practice, Spencer will drive you and Dozier home after the competition. This is the spot, right? Why not just let me take you home, Trexy? You're keeping secrets from me, my little baguette, and you know I don't like secrets, Droxy. Having told Spence where you live, he will then drive you to the homeless shelter. Setting foot Saturday with Spencer, having permission to block the streets and a live DJ for the afternoon event, people will flock in, including the team. Marie will also bring Richard to greet Spence until Spence suddenly gets scared off by the words thunder. After the end of the gathering, you'll head to Spencer's car as he concludes speaking with Hal. Huh. This seems to be his work schedule. I believe this is on the other side of town. This is just my male contour. Wait, aren't you the growl guy? Oh, sure, sure. But one thing... Is it really nine inches long? Is that really a pro- All right, Dax, you're good. I just needed you so I could get in not looking single. Dax? Oh, all right. The crowd erupts with cheers as Spencer walks up to the pole, grabbing and swinging from it gracefully. Unable to resist, you'll move closer to the center stage, deciding to slip a 20 underneath his back pocket to get a good squeeze behind the- Oh, seems we got a- Trex! Why, why are you here? Being pulled into the back, Spencer will speak with you, surprised that you'd found out about his dirty little job. He'll talk to you about not wanting people to find out, since he feels like a degenerate, and quotes that he is a good boy. Happy to know that you feel alright with the situation, you'll encourage him on doing what he does, and he'll invite you to stay and drive you back home. So, what would you like to drink tonight? First one's on the house. <laughs> Sir, please don't laugh at me. I'm just trying to do my job. <clears throat> oh, my manners. Sorry, I would like a cock. No, wait, Coke. Coke. Iced or crushed. Can I get it spared, please? Sure thing. Hey, Darius. You want to do something fun? Did you say fun? You want to make Spencer jealous? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Soon enough, the whole team will arrive for practice. Damn, what a cheeky ass. Have a soda. Ugh, really? Ugh, guess I'll have to go wash up. Hey there, big boy. How about you and I go for a ride? Oh my gosh, is that famous Will? Hey, 
Get your hands off my boyfriend. Oh, sorry, bro. You gotta make it like a banana split. Speaking with Spence, you'll find out that you want to kick things up a notch. Wait, what did I want to do that? During the chat with Spence, both of you will decide on going on a date Thursday after Spencer's work. Returning back to class, Darius will nudge about the situation asking if things went to plan on dating Spence. Spencer offers you to join him in his dance classes and you opt to come. Well, bar. Bark. <gasps> Who said that? Bark, bark. Could it be? Bark, bark. Wait, you work here? What well, can I get you to drink? Having a few sips of agua and chicken wings with Bam's charismatic attitude, he advises you to go to the showing, which you'll thoroughly enjoy a German Shepherd police dog dancing on stage as you catch Charles' hat at the end of the show. Spence will then drive you back home. We are back at the courts after meeting Spence from the cafeteria, playing a set of threes with the boys before visiting Hal on getting a job. He much obliges having you work weekends during rush hour. Jumping back to school, you'll be excited about the date as you head back home to prepare. You'll have three options to choose from, the movie theater, Greenlight Cafe, or Critical Strike. Going to the cafe though, you chat about Spencer's goals, living, relationships, and major which he is currently doing, accounting, though he'd much rather play professional tennis. Looking around the cafe scenery, you'll see that Hal has set up the atmosphere for the cafe with mood lighting, music, and roses at the table to set the mood. Afterwards, you'll go to the park to take a stroll and lay back to watch the stars. Waking up Friday, all you want to do is skip practice. But you aren't the only one. Spencer's also feeling the same way, having trouble getting out of bed after dreaming about a certain someone. Day 13, we'll be working at Greenlight Cafe before heading out to Spencer's job again, in which Bam will be more interested about your relationship. Soon after, Charlie's show will begin to start, and if you bring the hat from last night, you'll get a very unexpected surprise with Charlie on stage as he brings you in with Spence. Oh, hey, Drax. Did you take my $14 Chili's card? There, officer! There's the forney! The next day, we are back at work. Ugh. After the end of the shift, you'll see that the sporty boy Spencer is looking kind of mm, irresistible. Getting to campus, you'll meet the starting the salsa. After the end of the dance, Spencer wants to blindfold you. I don't know about this. Taking you back home to where Marie was planning out a nice dinner and scented candles to set the mood. Why did I need to be blindfolded? On day 15, you'll speak with Marie about deciding to move in with Spence. You'll ask Spencer, which he'll agree on. Tuesday, the campus will be closed, allowing the team an extra day of practice. Hey Spencer, can I come over? I'm bored. Well, I'm cleaning your room now, so you'll have to wait. Fine. Then I guess I'm just gonna have to go call Darius then. On second thought... Arriving at Spencer's place to come help clean up the house, you'll get things all spiffy clean before heading out for practice. Hey there, Spence. Hey, there's my boyfriend. Man, your tail be wagging. Best be careful not to knock anybody out with that thing. How rude, Drox. You ain't gonna refer back to him as boyfriend? Friday, the game begins on the courts with Marie and Richard there to support the team, gaining a perfect victory. And I bet you guys don't know where we're going tonight. Arriving at Spencer's job, meeting Charlie, and finding out that he is the owner of the business, he'll advise you to go find Spence and Bam from the back room. Hey, Trex, how do I look? Great, now get some clothes on, Bam, and get out there. What are you saying, Trex? My bits aren't impressive. Another workday, with Spencer coming into the cafe to pick you up when arriving home, you'll find out Spencer and Richard have already moved your stuff into your new home, where you'll be gaming with your boyfriend before bed. Oh, I think I've left something in the oven. All right, let's quickly speed this along before I get bored. Day 22, you'll walk home with Dozier, who invites the player for a double date with Chester. Day 23, Spencer will falsify Darius and boot him out of the dance class. Day 24, you'll find a wedding invitation for Spencer's brother in which he'll invite you to while asking if you want to dance for amateur night. Darius will also be putting on a show for amateur night, though he will get into a heated argument with Spence before leaving. Day 25, Spencer and the player will arrive at Darius's address to confront the situation and to apologize. Darius will also make amends and ask to take the player to Dynamic Springs for Spencer to reconstruct their bond. Day 26, 
Friday, after winning another tournament, you'll meet up with Chester and Dozier at his apartment with Spencer to have the double date. So like, do you guys work out? Day 27, Spencer's competition is today and it's time to support him. Coach will come along to pick up the two for the tournament area. The tournament begins with Spencer hitting balls left and right, killing the competition until the final match, where he's standing ready to hit the ball to the other opponent to score the winning point only to sprain his ankle and forfeit the game. And we'll just skip these days and go straight to the wedding because the wedding is also not a big climax either. It's, it's pretty mellow. We're still going to go over it. Waking up, it is time to go see Spencer's family and his older brother at his wedding. Getting there, meeting up with Dean, Spencer's father, along with the mother and triplets, you'll speak with DJ, the person getting married. DJ and Spence will talk about their family reunion while getting dressed. The wedding goes smoothly, but Spencer's family has a sneaky suspicion about Spencer. Ooh, wait a minute, quickly. They know too much. Make a distraction. Enemy spotted. Hello. Hi. Having Spencer's family gaining sneak peeks at you outside the window and being all lovey-dovey, they'll assume you're baguettes. Day 34, pineapple. And it's a normal day after that. Then day 35, pineapple. That's two pineapples in a row. Then you'll see Coach at the cafeteria with his boyfriend. Uh, there's a private showing that Spencer does with Darius and you at the club. And then Spencer tries proposing on you. I want to see you try proposing on me because... In my conclusion, reading Spencer's route, there really was no conflict, antagonist, or what felt like an opposing desire in which the reader will constantly take on a supportive role for Spencer. Since the peak of the climax ends on day seven, until the wedding, the middle of the story is filled with lackluster, with a lot of school and work. The story will also struggle to make a build up with dealing with Spencer's career path. So now I know you guys are gonna ask me about Spencer's route. And I I agree with you. It's it's probably the worst one. I said it there. I said it. I oh, said no. it. It's the worst one. All right. So thank you guys for watching. I've already sent out the merch. Don't lose them because I'm not sending out. But don't lose them. Don't lose. If I say grow, you won't lose them, right? Yeah. <laughs> See it grow. Don't lose them. Grow.